हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड जयपुर माय सेल्फ मिताली जैन एंड इन टुडे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट हीट पंप ट्रेनर ऑर्डर कोड इज टू वन टू टू फाइव थ्री वन नाइन पॉइंट नाइन इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टडी वाटर टू वाटर हीट पंप एंड द वेपर कंप्रेशर रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल एंड इट्स परफॉर्मेंस इज द वाटर टू वाटर हीट पम्प इट इज़ अ मैकेनिकल इक्विपमेंट विच इज़ यूज टू सप्लाई द वाटर टू अ सिस्टम विच इज इंस्टॉल्ड एंड मेनटेन इट्स टेम्परेचर मोर दैन दैट ऑफ सराउंडिंग वाटर टू वाटर एब्जॉर्ब द हीट फ्रॉम द सराउंडिंग वाटर इनपुट टू अ हीट पम्प इज सप्लाइड बाई कंप्रेसर एंड हीट इज सप्लाइड टू द रूम हैंस परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ हीट इज गिवन बाय वाटर कंप्रेसर रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल सो दिस साइकिल इज बेस्ड ऑन द सर्क्यूलेटिंग फ्लूड वाई मीडिया वाई रेफ्रिजरेटर हैविंग अ स्पेशल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वेपराइजिंग एट लो देन एम्बियंट एंड कंडेंसिंग बैक टू द लिक्विड फॉर्म सो नाउ वी विल लर्न अबाउट इट्स एपरेटिस सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न इट्स पैनल सो इट्स पैनल कंप्राइज ऑफ टू साइड फर्स्ट इज लेफ्ट साइड एंड अनादर वन इज इट्स राइट साइड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न अबाउट इट्स लेफ्ट साइड सो at left hand side there are two gauge this is suction gauge this is discharge gauge this is thermostat knob and in the right side of panel this is voltmeter this is a meter this is used to calculate the voltage reading this is used to calculate the current reading this is time delay circuit these are two knobs to start the compressor and main unit this is indicator when we will switch on the supply this indicator light will glow this is the cha uh, channel switch and this is the temperature indicator through its channel switch you can select the different mode like if you will press the t 5th 4th 6th 7th and if you want to decrease so you can press the this button so here t1 indicates the compressor inlet for gas t2 in indicates the compressor outlet for condenser inlet for gas t3 indicates the condenser outlet for capillary inlet for gas t4 indicates the capillary outlet evaporator for inlet t5 indicates the water inlet t6 indicates the water outlet from compressor and t7 in indicates the water outlet from evaporator hence this is all about our panel the top of panel this is condenser and that is evaporator condenser is basically the heat added in the evaporator and compressor to the refrigerator is rejected in condenser at high temperature and evaporator it is a light ref liquid refrigerant from the condenser at high pressure is fed through a throttling device to an evaporator at the low pressure and these are the two rotor meter for condenser and this is for evaporator and this is its knob to close and open it so there these uh, there are all the valves so these are basically inlet and outlet valve through this valve we will fill the water to uh, these tanks and after that th these are two valve which are connected to the rotary rot rotameter and uh, this is for the condenser and this is for evaporator and these are two outlet valve this is for condenser and that is for evaporator and through this you can all you can switch all the water outside through these valve so now we have to switch on the supply so as i have already switched on the supply so you can see that this indicator light has been glowed then after the in, through the in water inlet we have to fill the water in condenser and evaporator tank at initial condition we have to close these both the valve so this is the button valve we have to close these so through this you can note the flow of water so as you can see that there is a scale at the behind so you can note the flow of rate, flow of rate for the condenser and flow of rate for the evaporator by these indicators making all the setup that we have filled the water we have checked the flow rate and make all the setup now we will note the reading for first case so you can switch the channel you can select the t1 t2 t3 through this channel switch so as i have selected t1 so the temperature for t1 is Uh, 35 42 temperature is nearly about 44.3 43 temperature is about uh, 36.4 so corresponding to that you can note the voltage reading current reading and time delay circuit so t3 is 36.3 t4 is 19.1 
T5 is 36 or approximately 34.1. T6 is nearly about 36 or 35.1, and T7 is nearly about 35. So uh, corresponding to that, you have to also note the voltage, current, and time delay circuit reading so these all these are the reading you can note the reading in the interval of 10 10 minutes so in this way you have to make the table you can note the suction gauge reading and discharge gauge reading so suction gauge is nearly about 100 or the discharge gauge is nearly about 80 or so this is the reading this is the reading in psi or bar so you can note the reading through this then after that we have to make the table and note all the reading that we have taken so this is for ps this is for suction gauge this is for uh, discharge gauge we have to note the pressure which is in kg per centimeter square then after that we have to note the t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 and corresponding to that we have to also note the voltage current vc ve and then after that we will note the energy meter reading so this is the all process then after that through this formula we can calculate the energy meter coefficient so in this way we are able to calculate the cop cop is basically coefficient of parameter so that is basically coefficient of performance hence for further query you can contact to tesca technologies private limited jaipur and you can also refer to our user manual so this is all about today's session thank you for watching the video